everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella, if you're new here, hello. And if you're a subscriber, thank you. And today I'm gonna be reviewing the Air Up bottle. Now, I don't know if you've seen this advertised. I know that I have everywhere and I was so intrigued to try it. That's my cat wanting to play with me. I've been, Marley, shut up. I know I've been really intrigued to try this and I have been trying it since August last year. So at least six months now. Um, is that six months? August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Yes, it is. Um, and so I've got a very good perspective on what I think of this bottle, if it actually works and a few pros and cons that I have with it as well. So if you'd like to find out, continue watching. So this is the Air Up bottle. I went for this really lovely teal sort of color because... My cat just brought me this, which is his stick that he likes to drop at my feet anytime he wants to play. Good night. Um, yeah, so I bought mine in this lovely teal colour and my initial thoughts were intrigued because the idea with the Air Up bottle is that 70 or 80% of your sense of taste comes through your nose comes through your sense of smell and so they've kind of created a very cool and unique idea with this in that it's not just a water bottle but it's got these little pods that attach to the front um like that so you get these little pods and the pods have a scent in them so this one's watermelon and they've designed a bottle so that as you drink some of the scent comes through your mouth and you can taste it um so obviously this is really good if you're trying to drink more water and are really used to drinking uh, squash or you don't really like the taste of water um just to get you to drink more in general and for it to be a more enjoyable experience this is a really cool idea um i've never seen anything like this before and this is the watermelon one You can definitely taste watermelon, although this isn't my favorite flavor. Um, so we get a screw on lid with a little, I'm gonna get into some of the cons in a minute, but it has like a little hook. So if you're walking, you can kind of swing it along. It has a straw, it has the pods, and then you buy these um, air up pod flavor um, things. So I've got a few here. This is the peach one. This is my second pack of these. This is, orange and passion fruit which i think is quite nice and this is the watermelon my favorite is definitely the peach and i also tried a passion fruit and peach one i think which i really liked as well definitely my favorite so far but they have lots of really cool flavors like coffee and cola i'm really intrigued to see what they sound like although i personally would rather drink like just a fruity drink rather than a coffee flavoured water. I don't know, it just sounds a bit weird. Um, overall, you do really get a sense of the taste coming through with the water. It's quite a cool party trick. It's quite a cool thing to bring to your friends that have never heard of it before because a lot of my friends have tried it and have been really confused, mostly. Um, so you definitely do get a fair amount of the flavour coming through. It's not like squash. It's not going to be that strong and it you can feel that it's in a different part of your mouth in a way like it doesn't feel like it's in your taste buds it's kind of more of like an aftertaste that you get with it but I, it did for a while make me drink a lot more water actually um, I was taking this everywhere with me and I really liked it now onto the cons this bottle leaks all the time for me and I say for me, because it is a user error. <laughs> it is my fault. Because I just, 
I guess I'm not that um, strict about really making sure the lid is on tight. And if it's even the slightest bit loose or with this screw cap lid, it's also like easy to get it screwed on unevenly so it doesn't create um, a seal. And if you have not tied on the lid or not screwed on the lid quite properly, quite tight enough, um, the bottle is made in such a way where it just leaks. If you've got this in a bag and you haven't screwed on the bottle lid well enough, which, you know, when you're like quickly taking a sip of water and then you quickly tie it on and you're on the go, like it's very easy to not make sure it's really tight. Um, and I've had so many accidents of this being in my bag and just my whole bag being soaked. I've ruined books. It's happened honestly like six to eight <laughs> times. I mean, call me stupid, I know, like learn from your mistakes, but not for me that's not what happens in my case and this just spills all the time which is why i kind of haven't used it as much for the past uh month and a half probably just because i was sick of it leaking in my bag all the time um, and i took this everywhere with me i'll take this to auditions it's a really good thing to have like during exercises if you're going to the gym to get that feels more refreshing than drinking water sometimes. I do wish, like, and another reason why I kind of have been put off of this a little bit is just because I'm used to metal bottles that keep your water cold, whereas this doesn't. It's a plastic bottle, which I actually have never used before. I always use metal ones. Um, and so on a hot day, not that it's hot now, your water's not gonna stay cold. On a cold day, your water's probably going to be colder but it's not going to it doesn't have that sort of refreshing feel when the water isn't cold i find i know a lot of people love um lukewarm water no not for me um so that's really the only con that i have with it is that although the design is really cool and unique and obviously it's got this technology in it where you can taste the scent the design is also faulty in a way that it's so easy for this bottle to leak and because it leaks little by little you, before you know it your whole bag is covered and you haven't actually noticed that it's been leaking i mean i'm speaking from personal experience but what i might do is just show you an up close of me opening up one of the pods i'm going to try the peach pod because this one oh yeah another thing the, each pod it depends on how much you drink I would say each pod has lasted me two, two and a half weeks before the flavour starts to go. Um, they're not cheap. Obviously you can have the pod for longer, the flavour is just not going to be as strong. I also believe these pods are fully recyclable, which is great because I don't like unnecessary waste like that. Um, but yeah, it's not, not the cheapest, depending on what pod you get. You can get three pods for like six, seven, eight pound, I think. Um, oh, but yeah, when you first take it out of the packet, honestly, the, the scent is very strong. It's delicious smelling. This peach smells amazing. So it comes in this plastic, um, which is fully recyclable as well, little container, and you can just, open it up like this, pop the pod out, have a whiff, mmm, smells like those fizzy peach sweets, like fizzy peach Haribo's or something, delish, pop it on your bottle, um, and then on the kind of what should you call that? <laughs> Spout? No. On this bit <laughs> of the bottle um, the pod has two different settings so up is where you can get the flavor so I think it releases like some air from and through this pod so you get the scent coming through your mouth I'm not completely sure on the technology but that's what it feels like um, so you've got two settings like the up setting and then you can push it down And I mean, I can still taste a little bit of the flavour, but you get more of the water 
plainness coming through. Um, which is, is good that you can have the option to turn it off and turn it on essentially. But it does mean that also every time you unscrew the lid, it automatically pushes the pod down. So you have to pull it up. And this, um, it kind of attaches with like a little silicone uh, top, which is also, I think, a part of the cause of some of the leakage that I've had because if you don't um, press this down properly, it can leak as well. And also if you're pulling the pod up, the bottle can come away here a little bit and that can cause leaking as well. So I think I could definitely work on the design of this. Um, overall, I do think it's a really cool idea and I'd love to see some more stuff like this. Um, but I do think, yeah, the bottle, not so great. The idea and the taste of the water, I think is really cool to have that sort of fruity flavor or whatever you want with your water without having any extra stuff with it. It's a really good way to get you to drink a little bit more. Obviously this is completely um, unsponsored, so this is all my own opinion. If you've tried the air up, let me know what you thought of it. Um, yeah, I really like it, but I would love for the design of the bottle to be a little bit better so it doesn't leak in my bag all the time, but the general taste and everything, I really like. And I've just got this out of my cupboard after after a couple of weeks of not using it um, to do this review and it's it's got me on it again. I'll start using it again now. So overall I would rate it a seven and a half out of ten. Let me know if you've tried it or let me know if you're interested in trying it. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.